This video is closed captioned. Welcome back to our channel. Europe has a collection of some of the best beaches in the world. And it's not just that. Most of these beaches are in cities with a relaxing environment and an exciting culture, amongst many other positive features. To crown it all, these beach towns are located in countries with very affordable living costs. And trust me, there is no better retirement reward than living your retirement years in a comfortable, sun-bathed area like a beach town. If you are also looking to start afresh or experience a new culture somewhere in Europe, then you need to watch this video as we count down the top 10 beach towns to live or retire in Europe. Number 10. Ile del Rey this island on the coast of France is one of the most beautiful coastal destinations in Europe. It is reputed for having friendly residents and multiple attractions, including a line of stunning beaches on its northern shore, which enjoys a plentiful supply of sunshine. And then there is another big draw. The savory seafood and other local cuisines are served in stylish restaurants in the island's capital, St. Martin de Rey. In this city, you can enjoy a fast internet connection and easily access transportation to other cities on the mainland. A visit to Isla de Rey promises a top-notch experience, but an even better experience awaits if you decide to relocate or enjoy your retirement years here. Added to the idyllic coastal life, Isla de Rey provides an affordable cost of living. Monthly house rent and utilities cost about $2,500, plus the efficient healthcare policy of France covers you. Moving on. Beach town number nine, Naxos. This Greek island in the Aegean Sea is the largest group of islands called the Cyclades. Naxos, the largest of the Cyclades, is hugely blessed with nature's beauty, including stunning seascapes, green hills, high mountains, lush valleys, and white sand beaches. In the interior, you will find a bunch of pretty ancient towns inhabited by friendly local folks willing to help you adapt to the island's rich culture. This is one of the reasons why Naxos has become a top destination not just for tourists, but for retirees and people looking to start over. When fully settled in your new home, you can occasionally hike to the top of Mount Zas, the highest point of the Cyclades. If you love history, Castro's Archaeological Museum in Chorus Capital City is a worthy destination. Or you can do all this and end your day by relaxing on the island's numerous sunbathing beaches. The cost of living in Naxos is fairly reasonable. Utilities and rent for an average couple cost $2,000 a month. Coming in at number 8 is the Basque city of San Sebastian. Apart from the rich and tasty cuisine served in its classy restaurants, the Spanish beach city of San Sebastian is a unique mix of fascinating cultural heritage, architectural flair, and beach hopping activities. The city's old town, Parte Vieja, is lively with thrilling nightlife, thanks to the many pinzo bars and shops that line along Mays streets. Another thronged place is Plaza de la Constitución, a rectangular open-air space where you dine over fine local food or enjoy one or two bottles of beer in top of bars. On the shell-shaped bay of the city is the La Concha Beach, flanked by two visible mountains, Mount Thurgul and Mount Igueldo. The idyllic sandy beach is washed on by waves from the Atlantic Ocean, making it a popular spot for swimming and surfing. Mount Igueldo offers a panoramic view of the bay and the entire city, which you can see by taking a vintage funicular to the mountain's peak. Access to the mainland is easy, either by water transport or flight. As for the cost of living, San Sebastian can be pretty expensive, but you can cut a huge chunk of expenses by choosing a remote location to live. Rather than stay in the city center, rent an apartment outside the center, which will cost half the average price of apartments in the city center. Number 7. Biarrit. Biarrit elegantly lies across the Spanish border on the Basque coast of France. The city has seen plenty of international visitors and residents since it was used as a resort by European royalty and the continent's upper crust in the 1800s. And when you see the protective mountains, feel the refreshing sea breezes, and lose yourself in the picturesque countryside of the city, you will fully understand why it was made a royal resort. The city center boasts a vibrant nightlife that involves a trip to various bars around the Leal market. Daytime is no less interesting, as there are art galleries open to art lovers and different restaurants offering a packed menu of tasty cuisines. Outside the city, you will find Lac Maurice Cou and Lac Marion lakes. Both lakes have extensive pathways, mature trees, and lawns, making them a perfect area for families to stroll and enjoy nature's beauty. 
The best part of relocating to Bayarit is the intoxicating beach experience. Get ready to be amazed by the surfing activities that go on here. The cost of living in Bayarit is somewhat on the high side. A single person may spend over $2,000 a month, but hey, if you can afford it, you can enjoy a quality of life that is hard to get anywhere else. This includes a friendly healthcare insurance policy and many other complimentary amenities. Number six, sunny beach. This resort city of Bulgaria's coast offers beach fun and a worthwhile inland experience. On its waterfront is a long beach where you can either surf, sunbathe, or hang around at the surrounding bars. Sunny Beach is the most visited holiday spot for Bulgarians, but has now caught the attention of foreigners who intend to relocate. And this is no surprise because living here is very affordable. In the city center, a one-room apartment costs $300 a month, and a three-room apartment is around $500 a month. An average family can spend less than a thousand dollars monthly combined with utilities. So cheap, right? Why don't you stick around with us and find out how affordable the remaining islands are? And if you haven't subscribed to this channel so you can see more helpful videos like this, please hit the subscription button now. Coming in the fifth spot is Split, located in Croatia. Split sits on the coastline of the Adriatic Ocean. The city is the second largest in Croatia and the largest in the Dalmatia region. Hence, it is a hub of tourist attractions, including historical architectural landmarks, delicious local cuisine, thrilling nightlife, and satisfying summertime on its multiple beaches. Make your newfound life in Split worthwhile by visiting notable places in the city center like the St. Dominus Cathedral Building, the ancient Diocletian Palace, and then the Riva Square in Old Town, where you will find restaurants and cafes that friendly residents, including expatriates, operate. And don't worry, the food and drinks are cheap. A beer costs less than $3. Even better, you can rent an apartment in the city center for as low as $500, and a couple's monthly cost is around $1,500. Number four, Las Palmas, Gran Canaria. Embraced with a superb climate and evergreen vegetation, Las Palmas ranks amongst the top beach destinations in Europe, boasting a seaside lifestyle you will hardly find anywhere else. The inland is a bustling place where you can quickly lose yourself in the pulsating nightlife and engage friendly locals in random conversations. While the touring cost in the town is considerably expensive, residing here is cheap. A three-bedroom apartment in the more affluent city center costs around $1,000, and you get to enjoy affordable health care as a resident. Number three, Marmaris. If you are looking for a town with a stretch of pebbly beach where you can bathe in the sunshine and access nature, Marmaris is the perfect destination. This Turkish Mediterranean resort town lies between towering mountains and lush vegetation on the turquoise coast. You can feel the city's pulse at night when bars, nightclubs, and music venues open up on Bar Street. For daytime fun, there are several water parks for swimming and other activities. And we can't afford to miss a trip to the magnificent Marmaris Castle, which houses a museum containing several artifacts that reveal more about the town's history. Although Marmaris is not the most prominent beach town in Europe, it is undoubtedly one of the cheapest, most stylish ones to live in. A single person's living cost is barely $300 a month. Even if there are three of you, it is possible to cover the necessary monthly expenses with less than $1,100. Number two is a region blessed with scenic coastal spots, including beaches, bays, and dunes. This region is Costa del Sol. It won't take long for you to start falling in love with this resort haven that boasts impressive hospitality, lively nightlife, excellent Andalusian cuisine, and a variety of stunning beaches with clear water and fine sands. Like every region in southern Spain, things are relatively cheap in Costa del Sol, including rent. A single person's living cost is around $900 a month. Number 1. El Garvey Interestingly, this Portuguese paradise is not the cheapest place to live among European beach towns, but it offers so much, especially the best quality of life. And for how much? A worthy monthly cost of $1,400 for an average single person. Apart from the sunbathing beaches you get to soak yourself in every day, you will easily find a good company, as many Algarve residents are from different parts of the world. Plus, you are safe with the locals, the friendliest group in the world. The region's inland is an ascent of cobblestone streets lined with bars, cafes, restaurants, and shops displaying local items. You can reside in the old town of Farah, the region's capital city. 
Farah is home to a museum that displays treasures founded on the land. The imposing harbor front market of Oliao is also a breathtaking place to get lost in. There are just so many varied attractions in Algarve, and you can only fully experience it as a resident. This way, you can dedicate quality time to touring each hot spot, and what better way to round off most of your trips than to laze around a cliff or bask in the sunshine as it bounces off clear blue waters. And we've reached the end of this beautiful journey. Did you find this video helpful? Let us know in the comment section with the name of your favorite destination mentioned in the video. To enjoy more insightful videos, kindly subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell. Until next time.